Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Making It to Matthew. This is your boy Travis. And today, it's cold, but it don't even matter. We out in these streets, and we go to Firefly Distillery. It's their oyster roast. You know what I mean? They do it every month. I think they got, like, two more coming up. We put the dates in the lineup, probably right around here. But anyway, let's go. Let's go inside. We just got here. Probably started about an hour and a half ago. So let's go inside and see what's going on. Let's do this. Matthew. Alright guys, so I don't know if you saw that, but you just walk right up, they already have your name on the list, just give them your name, to check you off and you're going, you ain't got to show them nothing. I like that, you know what I mean? Just keep it moving, let's go inside, let's see what's going on. gift shop and we have to get checked in and also we got to get an oyster truck in because obviously we're not that much of a connoisseur so they obviously ran out which means a lot of people are here not just like us 26 Alright guys, so we just got our first set of um, oysters, but I got some inside scoop, right? So they're telling me that last year, it was inside and outside, and the taste of where the oysters were coming was much faster. So apparently, they had about 10 to 12 of these oyster boilers last year. They got me two, and apparently one of them wasn't working earlier, so they had two and a half. So obviously, it's going to be a slower pace. So, you can't really base this year off of the other years, I don't know why, right? But we're going to keep going and see exactly what the view is going to be like. I'm going to take you guys along with us the whole way. So come on, let's go. So, one of the first things we recognized once we got here was that there were four or five long tables full of people. And so, you might be wondering, well, where do I fit in? Just pull up a spot, find an empty area and talk to your neighbor. And what you want to do is ask them, when was the last time they got a serving of oysters? And so when they serve oysters, they do it in rows. We, we kind of got close to the second table and they were like, hey, we just got oysters, it's now all done. You might want to go to table four. So that's what we did. We went to the last table and we got oysters in five minutes. We got it so quick that by the time I got back to the table, they were halfway through them, okay? All right, so that's it for now, but let's continue to have some fun. There's a DJ, there's people dancing and having a whole vibe. It's fun, y'all. How many oysters do you think we're going to eat today? If you think you could guess how many oysters we eat today, comment it down below and you might get a surprise. You know right now, don't be surprised of the size or the shape of the oyster. You can get an oyster the same exact size 
Yeah, of the show. Right in the all right. Can I see it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's the baby crab. Oh. It's dead lot. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so it's not happy birthday. <laughs> right. <laughs> It's just a hot sauce with vodka. Okay. You pick every one. It's kind of sweet. Vodka, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. It's got vodka in it. Okay. And then two or three oysters. That's some season. Okay. Thank oyster you. Shooter. Oh, that's amazing. I'm about to try my second oyster shooter, and I'm on my 30th oyster. So this was our very first oyster roast and I was amazed that the oysters were super sweet. I don't know, but it gave me sweet vibes and definitely yummy. You want to make sure that you have your oyster shuckers, a rag to hold the oysters, some paper towel, and do not forget your hot sauce. Now I was also impressed that Firefly Distillery provided cocktail sauce horseradish as well as crackers so that each table had all of the accompaniment to enjoy their oysters. On this day in Charleston, the temperature was 30 degrees, so as you can imagine, that was freezing for us, so I'm so happy they had this fire pit. She's a Charlie! Yeah, Here's Tyler! Yeah. And your name? Brenda. Brenda? Yeah, but Moochie. Everyone calls me Moochie. Moochie. Yeah. Oh. I have a store that is downtown. What's so, the name of your store? Boisterous. Boisterous? Boisterous. Boisterous. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Where in yeah. downtown? Seven Broad. Seven Broad. Yeah, so we make like one of a kind designer handbags, belts, wallets, all types of pieces, watch bands. It looks a little dirty. You made this? Yeah, and everything's all hand stitched, so we hand stitch everything. Yeah. All right, and you're from Charleston? No, not originally. Yeah. Where are you from? Uh, originally Akron, Ohio, but I've been here for about seven years. And uh, we've had our business down here um, for about six. So, yeah. so you came down here and you just hit the ground running? More or less, yeah. I moved down to help my brother. At the time, uh, we've been working on the concept for about nine years. And we finally went public about six years ago. But we were working on concepts, and we make oyster shell bow ties. So that's why I got Oyster Roast, Grim, who's running all this. A good friend of ours. Um, we're inspired by oysters in the low country. So we just kind of started designing around that. 
and gotten into making uh, some of the most beautiful pieces around. That's There's amazing. A, I can't yeah. wait to come and check it out. Please. What is it? Thank y'all so much for coming out. This is Chef Graham Calabria and another great oyster roast with Low Country Oysters and Firefly Distillery. Thank All you. Right. Well, guys, as you can see, we have made it to the end of the oyster roast at Firefly Distillery. We had such a good time. We met so many amazing people. Just such a good time, you guys, and I hope that you enjoy this video as well, but also that you'll make it out to your own oyster roast in February and in March for the next two dates, because we'll be here. Thank you.